Asculți ruga noastră prin Domnul Isus. Amin. We've got a place right over here for you, just reserved. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath. I want to tell you a story about an old man and his nephew and his other nephew and his niece. Okay, Uncle Ebenezer was getting old. He didn't have any children himself, but his sister's children had become like his own after she had died. So there was Andrew, and there was Arthur, and there was Amy. Uncle Ebenezer looked at all three of his nephews and his niece and said, who of these will be the wisest to take over my estate and to lead out in what I do? I need to give them a test. So he called them together in a big room, a storage room, and he said to them, I'm going to give you a piece of gold, and I want you to have a piece of gold, and you'll be Amy, okay? So is that all right? I'll give you a piece of gold. Now you three go out and buy what you can buy that would, would fill this room. And it was a pretty good-sized room. You can go anywhere and buy whatever you want. But at sundown, you come back here and let's see what you did. So off they went. And the day went by, and Uncle Ebenezer wondered what they would bring back. And as the sun was going down, all of his other workers gathered together in the storage room. And here came... Andrew, and Andrew had taken his piece of gold and he had gone out and bought bales of hay. Do you know what hay bales are? Huh? What they feed to cows and horses? They put alfalfa, they put grass together, and then they put wire around it or a piece of rope. They press it together very hard, and then when you cut the rope or the wire, it just kind of explodes. And, and there's a lot of food in, in a tight place, and then it just opens up. So, so Andrew brought in, brought in his bales of hay, and he cut all the wires, and the hay just opened up all over the place. And you know what? By the time they got it all spread out, the hay was up to about here on everybody in that room. So Uncle Ebenezer said, well, that was pretty good now, Andrew. Um, now let's clear this all out and let's see what Arthur has bought. Well, here came Arthur with big, huge bags, huge bags that were packed full of feathers. So they opened up these bags and they emptied out the feathers. And you know what feathers do? They just expand when they get in the air and the feathers filled that room up to about here. And Uncle Ebenezer said, whoa, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, Arthur. You did a good job. Let's clear all these feathers out. And where's Amy? Because Amy, I wonder what Amy got. And here came Amy, and she didn't have anything with her. Not a thing. Amy, what did you do? Oh, she said, 
I went into town, and, and the first thing I did was I met a little boy who had no coat. And it's cold. And I used some of my gold coin to buy him a coat. And then, she said, as the day went on, I met an old lady who had no food. And I used most of the rest of my gold coin to buy food for her because she was tired and she was sick and she was hungry. Well, what did you do then? Amy said, well, I saw the sun going down and knew it was time to come back, and by now it was getting dark in the room. And Amy said, as I left town, I bought this little box with the one copper coin that I had left. And she held up the little box, and she opened it up like this, can you guess what this is? All right. And Amy took the match and she struck it on the box and she held it up. And guess what? The light filled the whole room. Jesus said, you're the light of the world, okay? Mm, you can smell that match, can't you? You don't want it to catch fire in the hay or the feathers. <laughs> Jesus said, you're the light of the world. And he meant by that that as you go out and live your life, as you know Jesus and love him, your life can reflect his love to others. Thank you. Gândurile noastre, mugurii ce cresc, florile scafața, albe strălucind, frunzai tot cuvântul, care a fost rostit.
I wish I knew the date when I first looked across on my drive toward home and noticed something was happening at this place. Aș fi dorit să știu data când mergând spre casă vedeam că se fac anumite preparative în locul acesta și nu știam. My wife and I wondered and uh, each day as we went by noticed that some very interesting things were, were happening to this the building that had been here. Soția mea și cu mine mereu vedeam că se produc modificări și se întâmplă ceva cu această construcție, această clădire. It was quite a while before we found out what the purpose of it all was. A durat ceva timp până când în sfârșit am aflat care este scopul pentru care se fac toate acestea. My wife came down with, with aches and, and flu last night and she is heartbroken so I am looking around very carefully so I can tell her what are things like things are like inside. Soția mea tocmai o zi în urmă a căpătat gripă și are dureri și are febră, așa că nu poate veni, dar eu am să fiu foarte atent să rețin cât mai mult ca să i pot povesti. You've done wonderful things outside to make this place a witness as a place of worship of God. Pe din afară ați făcut lucruri minunate care să fie o mărturie pentru cei care privesc că acesta este un loc pentru închinare față de Dumnezeu. And it, it's absolutely beautiful inside too. Este minunat și pe dinăuntru de asemenea. But most important are the people who are gathered here. Dar cel mai important este oamenii care se adună aici. It's a special joy. Este o bucurie deosebită. Thank you for uh, the invitation Lydia and for all of you who uh, agreed to that that I could be with you this Sabbath morning. Vă mulțumesc pentru invitația care mi-ați făcut o tuturor pentru a fi cu dumneavoastră în acest sâmbătă dimineață. God doesn't dwell in places made with hands. Dumnezeu locuiește în locuri făcute de de nu locuiește în locuri făcute de mâini omenești. But in God's providence places can be important places for us together to worship him and to bear witness to our world of the 